Yo, yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Fro Thizzle. And I'm back after a little hiatus. I had a month-long tour. I'm working on music projects at the same time. So I really haven't been able to watch any movies this past August. And it was my birthday two days ago on the 29th. But today, I was able to catch the new Tyrese Gibson film, 1992. Now, I walked into this movie thinking that this was mainly gonna focus on the Rodney King riots in 1992. While that is the backdrop of the film, we are mainly focusing on a heist led by a crew of not-so-great guys played by the late, great Ray Liotta. And if I'm correct, this is his final appearance on screen in a film. Originally, I thought it was going to be Cocaine Bear, but there was still one or two more roles that Ray was able to do before he passed. And if this is his final appearance, I gotta say it's a absolute awesome way to go out. This is a magnificent Ray Liotta performance, especially from the middle to the last half of the film. Ray just goes off and he's absolutely chewing up the scenery in this very villainous role. He's playing a complete scumbag in this film. We're following Mercer, played by Tyrese Gibson, who I think puts in a really good performance here. And actually, I would say it's my favorite Tyrese performance in quite some time, probably since Four Brothers, which is 2005. He's a good actor. I just thought he was really impressive in this role here. Now, Mercer is a tough guy. He's really well respected in the streets. In fact, he's looked as an OG. We do follow a very tense father-son relationship between Mercer and his son Antoine. Antoine is hurt at his father, rightfully so because Mercer hasn't been in his life, or at least a chunk of it. Mercer is trying to make things right, and while we're watching the film, he's absolutely looking out for his son. Mercer had a very tough upbringing in the streets of Crenshaw, that influenced his lifestyle as well, but he has landed a pretty decent job at a company named Pluton Metals, and this company distributes and creates platinum for the most part, these platinum bars, and that's what this crew is after ultimately. Now the other guys in the heist crew are Scott Eastwood, the son of Clint, who I think also does a pretty decent job in this film. He's pretty solid because he's one of the rare guys in that crew that I actually sympathized with. I did like his brother as well, played by Dylan Arnold. These two had really good chemistry, and I do think Dylan Arnold did a good job as well. Because in the beginning, he's playing video games and he's goofy. He's dropping some funny liners here and there. And we come to see that he's more on the innocent side of the crew. And he's the youngest, without a doubt. Their father was played by Ray Liotta. The character's name is Lowell. And Scott's character, Riggin, hates his father. They're headbutting. And he really wants to get out of the life. He even mentions in the van while they're scoping out Pluton medals and they're trying to find out how to break in. Riggin mentions to his father and everybody else in the van that he's done. This is his last job. The younger brother Dennis is more scared of their father. So he's going more with the motions while the plan starts to unfold. Now Tyrese and the son get into the mix when Tyrese decides to go back to the job for the night because he deems the streets where they live unsafe while the riots are all popping off. We do have a pretty messed up scene with two racist cops where they stop Mercer and Antoine while they're headed over to the job and they profile them. They throw them on the hood pretty much for little to no reason and it's it's a pretty hard to watch sequence and I, I did think it was pretty well done. It could have easily been cheesy or cringy but I didn't think so at all. It actually made me infuriated at the cops and I think that scene did its job well, in my opinion, I don't want to spoil which characters die for the viewers, but right when Tyrese, Mercer, and Antoine get to Pluton Metals, the bodies do start to drop. Now, overall, I really enjoyed this movie. Again, the performances are solid. I enjoyed the score, the musical score. There's a little bit of moody jazz that kicks in here and there that I always appreciate. I'm a big jazz guy, especially when it's utilized in very moody atmosphere, which I think this movie conveys very well. Tyrese is very solid here as Mercer, this tough guy who is trying to do his best for his son in the situation that they're in. And it was pretty easy for me to sympathize with the character and really root for him, especially when we get to the middle, to the end. 
There were times in the film that I was pretty mad at Antoine the son. He makes some decisions that did leave me pretty mad. I can't lie. There's a couple scenes where I'm like, come on, man. I know you're mad at your father, but he really has your best intention. He doesn't want you to get murdered on this batshit night. One of my favorite scenes in the film is where Tyrese and his son Antoine, they're in the car, they're driving, and they come across a white couple. They're about to get their car jacked. They have guns pointed in their face by some of the looters that are going crazy. And Tyree stops. He's like, yo, I'm about to save these people. And I really liked how it was shot. And Antoine does take it, you know, at first, like, yeah, my my father's a badass. That's like the first time that he's able to see his father in that light. But I do like how Mercer tells his son, I don't want you to grow up like me. That's my worst fear. And at first, Antoine, of course, doesn't understand he's younger, but eventually he starts to realize what he meant. And there is an intense scene later on in the film involving Antoine where he has to make a pretty big decision to save his father. And I'm not spoiling it, of course, but I like how that was shot as well. And the spin around that's done with that character. Really enjoy the mood that's captured in the film. Again, solid performances, nice score. I love how the film is shot. This movie doesn't have action throughout, and I would consider it more on the crime drama thriller edge but i didn't mind this at all it's not a nitpick there were a couple moments in the first half where i thought it was it was slowing down just a tad bit but then it started to pick up for me again and rest in peace to the late great ray liotta who i think puts in a really great performance here especially this is a final tip to the hat awesome job and he really does a great job at making you hate his character and you want to see his comeuppance and as always, in a movie that has really good performances, I think Ray Liotta steals the show, 100%. I'm going to give 1992 an 8 out of 10. This is random trivia, but Snoop Dogg actually executive produced this movie. And it's pretty funny to see the Death Row Productions flashcard in the beginning of the film right before it kicks off. And that's it, y'all. It's your boy Fro. What did you think about this film? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you think it was mid? Did you hate it? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. In the meantime, between time, thank you for watching. And I'm on to the next review. Fro Thizzle Reviews. I'm out.